Hey guys, my name is Lauren Paul. I'm the owner of Lauren Paul Photography and LA Marketing and Productions. We have been interviewing small business owners from Tulsa this week, and right now we are getting ready to talk to Shereya. So Shereya, tell us about your business. Yeah, hi. Um, thanks for having me, Lauren, first of all. You're welcome. Um, it's just fun to get to talk to people about <laughs> the business. Um, it's relatively new to me, so I really I enjoy sharing it. Um, but my business is called Charcuterie, so it is a play on the word charcuterie, which I know is like a, that's a tough to pronounce one, um, yeah. and intimidating to people. And the whole um, premise of my business is that I want to make charcuterie and cheese boards less intimidating for people. So, um, and then obviously charcuterie and charay, uh, so charcuterie, that's me. Um, <laughs> And I do everything from um, small, like individual cheese board gift boxes to large scale caterings for several hundred people. Um, and then one of my favorite things that I get to do is help teach people how to make charcuterie boards. So um, awesome. that means in like in home workshop parties, I call them board parties, um, things like that. Yes. Just so that I can kind of share this with other people um, and then they can in turn share this with people they love. Yes. Well, that is um, something that's on my radar as soon as things get opened back up to be able to do that in the studio. And um, you actually did, I'm going off script for a second, but you actually did a board for us for, for our LPP um, team party in January. And it was phenomenal. So great. We all sat around and just <laughs> ate and ate and ate. And then we had plenty left over and we still ate for days after that. So <laughs> everybody was very impressed. It was absolutely amazing. So, okay. So tell us, um, how did you learn? How did you learn this? What, how did that start? Yeah. So I, Honestly, I don't know that I can really, I tell people this all the time, I can't really pinpoint like the moment that it started. Um, I think my husband signed us up to bring a cheese board to like a Christmas party a few years ago. <laughs> and I have always loved like food aesthetic and plating and just loved food in general. So um, I made this really like elaborate over the top Christmas cheese board and we got to the party and everyone was like, okay, this is your thing. Don't ever bring anything else to a party. Like That's you amazing. board girl. So, um, so it just kind of became this fun little creative outlet for me. Um, I like to tell people all the time, my, I when I was growing up, my mom um, did floral design. And so I always loved like watching her design and arrange things. Yeah. And so I think that creative expression has turned into cheese boards for me. Yeah. Um, and of course, everybody loves cheese or most people do. And I love <laughs> cheese. So just, um, just kind of developed really organically. Um, and yeah. it just kind of fell into place. I've done quite a bit of research and watched a lot of other really great food artists um, and people who do cheese boards and just try to take little bits and pieces from that and put it into the work that I do. And you do, again, going off script for a second, but you, you offer, because I'm a gluten-free person, mm -hmm. so you do accommodate allergies and you do um, offer like more of an organic type board and there's tons of options, which I think is really great yeah. for, for different, to accommodate different budgets and different needs. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's awesome too. So, okay, so what has surprised you the most since starting your business? Um, I think... What has been, and surprising, but I think also really fun to see how well some of just these ideas that have been in my brain play out, whether that's making, a, putting an actual physical cheese board together, um, or just, you know, I had this idea to do these in-home parties where I teach people how to do cheese boards, and that sounded like a great idea, but I have been really surprised at how well that's been received, and also how amazing all of my like cheese board students have been um people really love this and i think it's a really fun way for people to get creative and do something hands-on and i've never seen a, an ugly board so they all turn out beautifully which um, that's always super fun to see so i think just the level of interest in our area and there's not really a whole lot like it um it's kind of we're in a kind of a difficult area to get really good sourced cheeses and meats yeah. so um just having to be creative and and it seems like there are a lot of people willing to jump on board with that which is awesome yeah good okay so we are in the depths of quarantine so how how, how have you adapted your business um to accommodate all of that yeah so obviously 
pretty much my entire business model surrounds people getting together and gathering, whether that's having a board party or me providing boards for their parties. Um, and so that all has gone to the wayside. Um, I realized pretty early on that people were kind of looking for ways to occupy their time while they're stuck at home um, and maybe learn something new and try out something different. So I thought that doing a do-it-yourself cheese board kit would be a really fun way to keep people engaged with my business, but also help them to learn something new um, while they're stuck at home and um, just find ways that they can share time with their family that's a little unique, maybe something they've never done before. So. Yeah. I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, thanks. And, and the most exciting part about this is that she brought one of her boards to show us. So go ahead and show everybody. Yes. So this week's board, um, I called Herbs and Garden. So I don't know if so it's it. There you go. So yeah. kind of an ode to the fact that it's spring, whether it's, you know, which is kind of hard for us to all believe right now. And everything is growing and beautiful and um, all of my it. herbs in my garden are blossoming. In fact, like this is sitting in front of me and it smells like fresh herbs and vegetables, yeah. which is exactly the effect I was going for. So um, I'm actually putting this together. I put this together this afternoon because I make a step-by-step -step guide with all of the cheese board kits that I'm making and that has pictures of exactly how I would build the board. So that way it's easy for people to see what they're supposed to do and how they're supposed to cut the cheese and how I would arrange everything on the board. So um, that's why I built this guy and everybody who ordered a kit this week will get the chance to build it at their own home this weekend. So that's such a great idea. So then the kits, are you doing, is it a different kit each week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've had a different theme each week. I started with Easter. So Easter's was, you know, a little whimsical kind of non-traditional cheese board, lots of sweets and bright colors, um, and then have kind of gone through some mostly focusing on seasonal flavors um, and just requests that people have sent in and said, hey, I want to see this in a cheese board. I want to see olives. I want to see blue cheese. I want to see cheddar or whatever. Um, I love getting input from people and making things as custom as I can to um, kind of what everyone wants to see. Yeah. I don't want to just make a cheese board that's just for me. Um, obviously that kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's great. Okay, so when they order a kit, do they come pick it up from you or do you deliver it to them? Both. I have the option for both so that it can be a little flexible. Um, I know some people are like, please give me a reason to get out of my house for yeah. a few minutes. Um, and then for some people, it just works better to deliver. So I offer delivery or pickup all throughout the weekend. It's super flexible. And it comes with all the food mm -hmm. in the box. And yeah. then it comes with the pictures to show them how they can build it or they can obviously build it themselves. Sure. And yeah. Okay, very cool. One more thing. I wanted to talk to you about one more thing, and this is off script again, <laughs> but I'm just like, oh, I wanted to ask about this. Um, you have done kid boards, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us a little bit about the kid boards. Absolutely. So I, um, my educational background is in public health. So I feel like it's really, really important as early as you can to get kids involved in the process of making their own food, preparing their own food, but also understanding better what they're eating. And I think hands-on cheese boards, um, that's a super fun way to do that yeah. with kids. Um, and a lot of times, I mean, if you think about a cheese board, it's a lot of things that kids will eat. Um, and yeah. if you have picky eaters, it seems like there's always something on the board that they will at least eat. So yeah. um, they usually, they tend to go over really well with kids. And I just love the idea of kids getting to be involved in the process of um, putting that together. So I'm hoping in the future to um, do some kids classes um, with partners kind of around town um, and providing some hands-on workshops for kids. Um, I just think that's a super important part of yeah. um, growing and developing and learning about food for kids. And also, it's just really fun to get to work with them. And uh, they have wild ideas. They're so, I'm sure, you know, like, kids are so creative and they see, they always tend to see something that like we as adults just can't see. So I love that aspect of it. Yeah, I agree. Okay, awesome. So how can people reach you? Where do they go to find out more information or buy your buy, or book with you or all that good stuff? Yeah, so the easiest thing to do um, is to go to my website, which is just charcuterie.com. Mm -hmm. um, so the word charcuterie, but substitute IE with AY, charcuterie.com. <laughs> um, and I have a form on there for submitting interest to host a board party. Um, people can order my gift boxes straight through the website. 
not right now. I'm not quite back to production on those yet, but soon, very, very soon, I hope. Um, and then also on through social media is always great because that's just an easy way that people can connect with me and just part of running a small business, I'm always connected to that. So um, on Instagram and Facebook, Charcuterie, and then obviously my website. Awesome. And I will link all of the social media um, platforms and her website and all that good stuff in the descriptions and comments so that you guys can find her. Um, Shreya, thank you so much. It was so fun to chat with you. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.